All right. But like I said, if I remember correctly, this is we'll go through here and then we'll get into a hall where we have to like run. Yep. I remember when I was younger, I believe this hallway. If this is the hallway, I think it is. Um. Oh, I'm turning against the wall. Maybe it's not this wall. I could have swore there's a, there's a hallway where you get chased again, I think. Um, and that hallway, I think, killed me a whole bunch when I was a kid. So let's, let's hope we can get through it without too much of a... Too much of a hassle. Oh, I guess we did what it. What do I want? Well, for the two of you to die, that would be nice. Wow, thanks, then Vincent. Relax. When did you stop believing in God? God lives. Just look around you. But I do believe in her. In my own way. Mm. I fear her, and I adore her. But I haven't lost my mind like you. You think that this is the work of God? Isn't this all nothing more than your own personal nightmare? Just like less than 17 years ago? If this really is the work of God, then I'd say she has lousy taste. You mock God? Traitor. You will go to hell. Not that again! Claiming to know God's will. Go home, Vincent. Home. This church is my home. I built it with my power. The power of money that you view with such scorn. Although, I admit that this atrocious scenery is all yours. Party started. Heather, go ahead and kill this crazy bitch. This demon who claims to speak for God. Language the time has come. You can kill her now. You go to hell. Well, well. He's out, Vincent. Stab that man right in his spine. Important. Oof. You're not going to run? I guess this is the end. No, the beginning. As Vincent said, the time has come. Alyssa, I'm saddened that you didn't agree to this on your own. But I thank you for nurturing God with all the hate in your heart. It's time for mankind to be released from the shackles of sin which bind them. But a god born from hatred can never create a perfect paradise. Happy people can be so cruel. Is it so hard to believe that sympathy could be born out of pain and suffering? Why do you reject God's mercy? Why do you cling to this corrupt world? You know that only God can save us. And save you too? Happy ending? I'd rather go to hell. I'd rather go to hell. I deserve 
have no mercy. Even if it was to save mankind, it was too deep a sin. It was hubris for me to try to hasten the day of her arrival. Sacrifices were made. Those are my sins. Indeed. So breathing, huh? You feel so guilty about it. Why don't you go to hell? <laughs> Heather, use the seal. Not the seal. Vincent? I don't have the pool. The seal of Metatron? Now your stupid dream is over. Oh. That's just a piece of junk. <laughs> what do you think you can do with that? Do you really think it can kill God? I'm sorry to see you fell for my father's foolishness. What? You're pathetic. Look. Get wrecked, Vincent. Just gonna just gonna leave your knife there, huh? But God loves even you. Now, Alessa, there's nowhere else to run. I ain't running. Oh, there we go. Controller vibration. If you can hear it, hear it a little bit. Judgment Day. Alessa. Uh oh. Well, that didn't work. Shut your stinking mouth, bitch. Language. Okay. Don't think. Do we use it now? This is, is, is not an ending, by the way. I just wanted to show this off. It is a game over. Uh, we will have to do the running segment again, but we can we should be able to skip the cutscene. So, uh, unfortunately, you can't just uh, pop a cap and uh, Claudia and call it a day. Because that gives into your hate. I was pretty sure the sequence had a red cloud in it. But maybe I'm mistaken. Because I know there I know there's some versions of the game where that technically doesn't happen. So So what's funny is uh, the way you actually solve this is from an item you've had since the beginning of the game. Should be able to skip this. So, he's dead. The thing you have to do is... Now, I will say, before I use this, um, Dad gave me this pendant on my birthday. It's one of my treasured belongings. Before I use this, I do want to uh, say uh, there's a jewel inside. A little red tablet. 
So you might know what, what that is uh, from that book that we read. Um, if you have a problem with body horror or just like... Yeah, basically, if you if, if like gore and body horror bothers you, I would probably look away. This scene can be really disturbing um, for people that... Uh, when I asked Dad what it was, he said, just a lucky charm. But then he told me to take good care of it and never take it off. I wonder why I feel sick when I look at it. Okay. Um, but, uh, so, fair warning. Before I use this, we're going to get a cutscene. It's going to be very nasty, and then we'll fight the final boss. So, uh, last call to tune away. All right, let's go. Had a contingency plan. She is nearly here. Alessa, what have you done? What did you swallow? Is not the nasty part, Looks by like the way. God didn't make it. Stop! This is the nasty part. God is. Claudia! That's why I put a warning at the beginning of this, because that is awful. Yeah, you're, 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 you're free to tune back in if, if you're listening. Because um, all we're going to see is Claudia uh, kind of stumble around and then fall in a hole. Wobbly. Symbolism. Well, someone got got. Okay, okay. And now we prepare for our final battle. Which, much like Silent Hill 1, it's time for us to fight God. As soon as it loads. <laughs> Sorry, loading God apparently takes some time. Here we go. Yeah, visual symbol of the whole. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Symbolism! <laughs> yep.
What's funny is I think the quickest way to kill this boss is actually the katana. Seems a bit on the nose for that. I mean, yeah, but like, it's fine because the lot of the other parts of the story have been very subtle. So a little on the nose is fine. Especially for this specific part. <laughs> this is God. Okay, so we're gonna okay, get a little bit closer. All right. So once you shoot them, I believe the trick is if you do the that stab, you can keep it stun lock. Oh, maybe not. How to make sure to get the unlimited machine gun? No, how do you how do you do that? Hold on. Do I have to do something other than the katana? How do I get the unlimited machine gun? I mean it shouldn't be too much of an issue, because we still should get Heather Beam, right? You get Heather Beam once you beat the game. What do I need to do for unlimited machine gun? I'm just going to keep stabbing it now. Uh, yeah, we're... We need it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I was going to do anyways. Because I think you just, you just shoot... You shoot them... They fall down and then you, you stab them in the face. Yeah. That the, I wasn't very good at the stun lock, but you could you I think you can essentially stun lock the boss by doing that. But yeah, I had I had intended to beat the boss with a katana anyways. Oh well. Nothing like uh killing God. God should have uh, brought God brought hands to a gunfight and a katana fight. Couldn't throw them hands fast enough. At the end, I guess it's time to roll the credits. Ah, yes, Douglas. 
Let's see what happens with Douglas. And his broken leg. Also, it's never explained how he got the crap kicked out of him, by the way. Last we saw, he was pointing a gun at Claudia, and then, like, the next time we see him, his face is messed up, his leg is broken. Like, I guess the assumption is that one of the creatures attacked him, but... Just a joke. <laughs> You've got terrible taste. I'm sorry. <laughs> Heather, did you... You don't have to call me that. I'm not hiding anymore. You want me to use your real name? What was it again? Cheryl. The name my father gave me. There you go. You gonna let your hair color go back too? <laughs> I don't know. Don't you think blondes have more fun? And that is the end. And that is the uh, good ending. There, there's basically... The, the only way to really get the bad ending is basically just kill everything. Um, I'm going to mute this because it might get flagged on uh, YouTube. Um, hold on, that's, that's for me. There we go. It might get flagged on YouTube, so I'm going to go ahead and mute that. Hopefully that doesn't uh, mess with anything. Um, but... Uh, but yeah, so the, the way you get the bad ending, if you're wondering, is kill all the monsters, take a bunch of damage, and forgive the lady in the booth. Those three ways gets you up to, like, 4,000 points, um, and then you'll be able to get the bad ending. Uh, but I don't know if you can get the bad ending on your first playthrough. I think you have to get it on a consecutive playthrough. I'm not sure about that, but... Uh, but yeah, so that's that's kind of the the ending, and then there's there's a joke ending, like a UFO ending, uh, as well. But you have to do that in New Game Plus. Like I said, we'll we'll come back to the series, different games in the series, and play those over time to get some of the other endings, because I do think there's some things to talk about with certain other endings. Uh, some of the ones other ending is not really that deep in a conversation. Um, but Silent Hill Two has some some stuff to offer from some of the other endings, uh, and I think. This one has, like, one other ending other than UFO, and some of the other ones. There's there's some stuff to talk about, but, uh, anywho, that is going to do it for Silent Hill 3. I'm gonna see if we can get to our screen here, because we want to see that. There you go. We got five stars. Uh, which we only got one star because we played on easy, obviously. We got three stars for normal riddle level. Uh, we completed it in four and a half hours. That is only three star worthy. Uh, two stars for Split Worm. Uh, five stars for Missionary. And pay attention to the names of these creatures, because we're about to have a conversation about it. Uh, Missionary. Uh, Leonard, killed in 44 seconds. Memory of Alessa, killed in a minute and a half. God, the God, which is interesting, because that's the only time it uses an article and doesn't capitalize it is in this screen here, because everyone else references it as God with a capital G. This says the God with a lowercase case G. Clear number one, obviously, as you get higher, you get more of that. Saving continues. I saved way too much, so we didn't, didn't get any stars. Uh, we found a bunch of items. In fact, we found enough items to get all of the stars there. Um, defeated enemies by shooting and by fighting four stars total damage not not too bad uh this is what i was talking about though this right here these these are what the defeated enemies and the damage taken that's what gets you the bad ending so i think it's let me let me i think it's like two points per enemy killed and one point per damage taken so you can see we we took 
even eight, which is which is almost a five star rating we still took 777 not intentional mind you uh damage um there so that would have been 777 points towards that 4000 so as you can see it could be very easy because we were playing on easy so we were taking we were taking less damage so you can see how it could be pretty easy to get into that um that range for the bad ending so but that is that is that and then extra new game has been unlocked Play from there and enjoy extra features. Starting from new game, we'll begin a new game without extra features. You have fulfilled the conditions for the hidden weapon, Flamethrower. You have fulfilled the conditions for the hidden weapon, Unlimited Submachine Guns. Extra costume has been added. If you select this and enter the password, you can get a new costume. Got the extra costume password. Happy birthday. So I'll write that down, but it's... I'll probably forget about it by the time we get, get to the playing around this one again. But, um, but yeah. So that is... Just a second. I'm going to wait for it to save. Do you wish to save play results and rankings? Yeah. Why not? Uh, we'll, we'll save that here. Okay. All right. Um, we don't need the audio. Don't worry about it. Um, there we go. So that's the end of the Silent Hill 3 playthrough. For now, until we come back to it.